Colin, right? Hi, yes, Kelly. Kelly already wins the round. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. It's nice to actually see you in person. Yeah, come on in. Make uh, yourself at home. Like, do you mind if I use a little space on your desk? Not at all. You can see I just cleaned uh, that one little spot. Perfect. Thank yeah. you very much. It's all good. I appreciate that. Well, Kelly, like I said, it's great to be here. Um, you know, working in the Grand Rapids location, it's always good to be back in Kalamazoo. Yeah. I did graduate from here from Western. Oh, go Broncos. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, like I said, I'm very happy to be here. Um, and I do want to thank yourself for your time, and I also want to thank Fiona for having us um, have that connection there. Um, so, I want to ask you really quick, Kelly, should there be anyone else here that, that should be in our meeting? Uh, no, just me today. All right, sounds great. What I will do, Kelly, is I will give you my business card as well. Okay. So you'll have that for any point of reference if you need to contact me. And this is the best phone number to call you? Absolutely, that's my personal phone. Right okay, there. great. Here, let me give you my card as well. All right, thank you very much, Kelly. I appreciate that. Um, if it's okay with you, I'd like to get started. Would that be okay? Sure. All right. Um, so since we are, do we still have about 20, 25 minutes today? Yeah, 20 works for me. I can't give you more than that, though. That works just fine for me. Okay. So since we are on a time constraint here, I would like to show you an agenda here of what I would like to accomplish today. Okay. But first I'd like to go through is um, a little bit of ADP and who we are, what we do. Um, and then next after that, I'd like to find your needs. I want to okay. see what you're looking for in a payroll service and what exactly you're doing with your payroll now. Okay. And moving from there, I'd like to show you our solutions that will hopefully fulfill your needs and show you the benefits of having ADP. Okay. And after that, hopefully I can welcome you into the ADP family. I like your optimism. All right. <laughs> Great. Well, I'll leave that for you so okay. we can stay on point. And uh, I'd like to begin if that's okay. Sure. All right. So starting off, I want to, say, I want to show you a little bit about what ADP is, who okay. we are. Um, we are one of the world's largest um, providers of payroll services and HR, HR related services. Um, a little bit about us is that actually one in every six Americans is actually paid by ADP, which is awesome. Is that true? That is very true. Um, and actually, gosh, more than, I'll say you're big. It, absolutely. And more than half of our clients have fewer than 10 employees. And what that means oh. is that we focus on the small guys. You know, we may be a very large company, but we like to focus on the smaller companies like yourself. Okay, so we're really not too small for you then? Absolutely That's, not. Okay. A lot of, we range from, from servicing any clients that have even one employee. Okay. So that's the great part about us. And moving forward, we, a lot of people know us for the payroll services that we offer. Right. Um, which, did you know anything about ADP before going into this meeting? Well, you do payroll and you're big. Exactly. That, I mean, that was sort of it. Exactly, and that's, those are kind of the points that we're hitting right now, and, and, and that's exactly it. So we do cash management, which is, that's going to be your payroll services that you're used to. Okay. But we also do a lot of other things, such as people management, which is your HR-related tips. Um, we do services in that area. And we also specialize in risk management. So that can be anything from we do your tax services, um, and we also, can, we also keep you updated on labor law posters. So if there ever was to be an audit, which I know that Fiona had mentioned that you were going to be audited soon by the state. Is that correct? Uh, I think we've got that all worked out. So, okay. yeah, well, I think we had it resolved. Well, th that does get updated from time to time. And so what we do is, is we will make sure that you're updated to that from, okay. so that if that does happen again, you won't have to worry about it. Nice. Which allows you to have extra time to focus on other things such as this expansion into Grand Rapids. Sounds good. So, and one thing too, Kelly, I do want to congratulate you on that expansion. That's awesome. It is going so good. Great. Yeah. I, I, I love to hear that. You know, like I said, we are a large company. You know, we service over 600,000 clients, mm -hmm. but over 400,000 of those are actually small businesses, just okay. like yourself. So, like I said, we like, to, we like to support the small guy and getting them to that success where you want to see them. Nice. And through that, we are one of four AAA rated companies, which we're right next to Johnson & Johnson, Microsoft, Exxon Mobil. Basically, Kelly, all that means is that we're financially stable. We're never going to go bankrupt. So you're nice. never going to get a phone call from us saying, hey, sorry, we can't support you anymore because we're out of the league. Mm, okay. So another great thing about us, we've been mentioned by a lot of companies, um, such as Forbes and Fortune Magazine. Fortune actually recently named us as one of the world's most innovative companies. Wow. So that's great. So we're recognized by all these. And even better yet, we're worldwide. So if you ever did have a future expansion, which, oh yes, our next location in Indonesia. <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like a vacation all the time. Yeah. Um, so we're not just restricted to the United States, so, which is nice. Okay. So, and like I said here, we, we do a lot more than just, the, than, than just the cash management. We move all over the board here. Okay. So do you have any questions about ADP? I don't think so. All right. So can I move forward into finding your needs and what exactly you're looking for? Sure. All right. So the best way to do that is actually just by asking a couple questions for you. So let's go ahead and get started there. One of my first questions for you, Kelly, would be simply, how many employees do you have? Uh, we have 15. 15 employees. And is that just at one location, or how many locations are we talking about? Uh, well, we've got um, 
five employees here in Matawan, and then we have 10 that work out of Grand Rapids. Okay, and how many employees are on salary? Everyone in Grand Rapids and nobody in Matawan. Nobody in Matawan. So the only employees that are going to be hourly is going to be in Matawan. Those are the five no, employees. In Grand Rapids. No, say that one more time. Which so the, the five employees in Matawan are, are, are on hourly. Salary. Or on salary. 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 So salary. we have the 10 employees. The 10 crew, like the labor, is in Grand Rapids. Okay, awesome. And so we just have the two locations right now, correct? Right. Matawan and Grand Rapids. Right. Awesome. And do you, I know that we're in this expansion right now in Grand Rapids, but do you have any plans to expand further after that if things were going okay? Um, people for sure. Locations, I don't think so. So, you know, I am this close to signing a deal with the city of Flint. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw the article in MLive yesterday about how Clover is fighting urban blight. Did you see that? I actually didn't see that. Okay, so you can Google, see we're really into this our business, but you can go and Google Clover and Flint, and we actually did a test program for the city of Flint, because Clover only grows to a certain height, so it really keeps all the weeds down in these areas. Okay. And they have agreed to hire us if I can prove to them that I have my paperwork um, at an acceptable level. So right. one of my big motivations for this meeting is I've got to figure out a way to have better reports coming out of my federal system. So you want to, so what sounds like you want things to be more accurate? <coughs> um, and buttoned up. So like right now, my guys just handwrite paper timesheets. Right. I mean, there's a city manager in Flint, you know, if there's like legal stuff, there's no way in hell that they'll take that. So right. I've got to be able to demonstrate that I'm the real deal. Right. And I can churn out good reports. So that's one of my big motivations for meeting with you guys is, yes, I need to be able to prove my system's correct. Absolutely. But that it, it sort of like looks. So it looks professional. Yeah. You want that professional look. I don't, and I don't want to have to sit and make these reports on Excel. Absolutely. That's, so, it takes a lot of time, right? Right. 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 And you know, Kelly, I, I, I do want to congratulate you there on taking the time to do that. That's a huge, huge step. Um, you know, that it takes a lot of time and that shows that you have initiative in your company, which like I said, we'd like to support those types of people. Oh, good, good. So I definitely hear you there on time and I definitely think that our products can save you the time that you're looking for. Okay. Um, so moving forward here, um, how often do you pay your employees now? Every Friday. Every Friday. So we're doing that four times a month, correct? Yep. All right. And I know you briefly walked me through your payroll process. Can you go a little bit more into that? Yeah. As um, far as I know we're on pen and paper now. Pen um, and paper now. Um, and if you don't make fun of us, this is how loosey goosey it is now. Is the guys write on timesheets, they file them in Grand Rapids, and I just um, I'm up there once a week, so I just grab them. But literally at the end of every day, each guy just texts me their total hours, and then mm -hmm. I plug that into QuickBooks and set up my direct deposit. Okay, so it's very loose. It's very loosey goosey there. Yeah, so which was fine when it was just you know five or six of us in Madawan. We all knew each other, but as we're growing faster, I know the guys less. I'm not saying I don't think they're honest, but I think it would be good for everybody to have a more accountable culture. Right. You know, so, like, you, so you almost want so you want the clock-in process to be a little bit more secure rather than somebody just and more formal and more formal. So then just writing them down and sending you a picture or a text of them, correct? Yeah. Okay. And I don't know how to fix that. Okay. I mean, my big innovation was send me a text. Sure. <laughs> Which works. Right. Don't get me wrong, it works, but it's way, it doesn't give us the credibility that we need to, I think, land accounts like that, the new opportunity in Flint. Okay. And um, if, you could, if I could ask you, how are your employees clocking in right now? Um, they don't. They just write on a sheet of paper. They just write on a sheet of paper what time they, they came they in. There and then what time they leave. Okay. Sounds good. Well, I think I have a better understanding of that process now. Um, and one more question. Do you provide your employees with any tools? Um, such as an electronic device, maybe a cell phone? Mm, my crew manager up there has a one, like the, my lead manager up there has a smartphone, but I don't, we don't supply phones to all of our, like all of our labor. Okay, sounds good. Um, and I know I already asked you this, um, but th there's not gonna be any more decision makers involved in this process, correct? As far as making a- I'm the sole owner. You're the sole owner. Yeah, so- So you are the decision maker, essentially. Right. Great. And um, do you have a deadline of when you would like to make this change in, in your payroll process? Flint is going to decide next Friday. Okay. The 12th. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay, so we're, um, we're on a time crunch. We are the lead company. Mm -hmm. um, and 
through informal channels, they've told me that we have the deal if we can prove to them between now and then that that you have those formal. you have those professional right. um, reports, correct? Right. Okay, right. great. So I'm anxious. Okay. Me. Yeah. Sounds good. And um, Kelly, are you considering any other options as far as a payroll service? I am meeting with Paychex Thursday morning. Great. Yeah, I'm very familiar with them actually. Okay. So I, I, I do know how their process works and I can and I can think I can show you kind of how we compare to them. Oh that'd be good. It, yeah. Absolutely. And I think that we have some great benefits as well. Okay. So um, and one more question for you too. Assuming that we have a, a, a great solution for you, Kelly, can you see any major obstacles in our way from moving forward after that point? Um, I mean I have to assume I can afford it. I, right. I mean it's not, you know, ten thousand dollars a month or something, so it has to be sort of a you know, reasonably affordable, but other than that, my attitude is, you know, first company to the finish line with a good solution wins. Right, and I ho hopefully we That's can be right. that first place, right? All right, well, sounds good. I think that we have a good understanding there. Um, and how long, did, how long are you spending right now on payroll? Let's say per um, week basis. So I do payroll Thursday nights. I would say I probably spend a couple hours every week. Okay, say two hours? Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Great, and kind of a, a little bit of a brain question for you here. In a perfect situation, how could you define a good payroll service? Like we um, said, we help already me, know. Help me seal the deal on plants. Right. It's, can you tell this is looming large? So, so um, to seal the deal, we want to do. We want to know that it's going to be professional, right? Yep. We want to have those professional reports. Yep. We can show that to Flint and make that expansion. It just gives us credibility. Um, give me peace of mind that I'm only paying for the hours worked. So right. that I think comes back to the accuracy. Yep. Um, and be a good partner. And when I say that, I mean you know just sort of do on time as promised. You right. Know, if you tell me something's going to happen, just. Make it happen. Absolutely. That's it. I mean, I don't, I don't expect or need more than that, really. Okay. Good. Well, I think that's. I think that I have a good understanding there as well. Um, one last question for you, Kelly. How can myself and ADP as a whole give you the best service possible? Uh, Maybe from a customer service standpoint. I think just demonstrate to us that you really do care about the small business. Okay. You know, it's. Um, I, you know, the, the suppliers or partners that I have the best relationship with are ones that think beyond just selling me the next thing. You know, it's like I'm always looking for guidance and ideas right. from the people that I interact with. So um, yeah, that, that would be a way to, to show that. Okay. Great. Well, Kelly, I think after having this conversation with you, I have a really good understanding of what really your core needs are um, in, in a payroll service. So. I'd like to show you just kind of what I'm working on here okay. so you're not questioning me at all. Um, I've highlighted the key points here. I think what you're looking for here is going to be something that's going to be professional. Like I said, you're on the pen and paper route right now. Right. And you want something that's going to show that you're credible. Right. So professionalism comes with credibility. Also, you're looking for that better accuracy. Is that correct? Absolutely. Awesome. And then, obviously, we want to be saving time because you're going through this expansion in Grand Rapids and who couldn't use the extra time per week in that right. expansion, correct? Right. All right, awesome. Well, now that we're on the same page here, Kelly, I'd like to move into how ADP works and how our services can actually fulfill those needs of yours. Is okay. that okay? It sounds great. All right, sounds good. So the best way to describe this probably, Kelly, is to put this into about three parts. Okay. Is how our services can help you. The first part that's going to be is called our run system. That's going to be an, an online website-based program. This is going to hold all of your information Okay. Um, as far as the employees' names, their information, how many hours they work per week and what their wages are. Okay. So and that's going to calculate all of that for you. And this isn't, like I said, this is an online application, so you have a login and a password just like Facebook or Twitter or any of your other okay. social media sites. Okay. You log in there, and then you're going to have the administration profile where you're going to be able to view all of this. Okay. And your employees will also be able to log into this, but have a basically a less, um, they won't be able to see as much services as you'll be able to see okay. as the administrator. Is that, okay. Does that sound? That makes sense. Does that yeah. make sense? Okay. So, like I said, this is our run system. You can use this on um, BlackBerry, um, Android, or even on Apple. So, whatever phones you're running, it will work with you. Um, another best part about it um, is, you know, you can run the payroll anytime and anywhere. So, the best, so you being in the landscape company, can you see how being able to go just tap on your phone, let's say you're in a pawpaw location on a job site, or maybe you're even in Grand Rapids working out a new deal. Um, can you see how you'd be able to go on and do your payroll and that would benefit you? 
Yeah, that would be great. Being able to do not that on the run, be, right? Not to be changed in my office. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, and one other great thing about our process is that you can preview the results. So there becomes the point where you don't have to just press a button and it's all gone and you say, oh no, oh, I messed up, right. I forgot something. No, there's a preview section. So you'll be able to see exactly what employees, how many hours are working, what their wages, how many taxes are being taken out. Can you see how that would help you? That'd be great. Absolutely. All right, so that's the first part. The second part is gonna be our easy labor manager. Okay. And that's basically how we track how you clock in, how your employees clock in. So you said something about having being secure and credible. Right. Right? You know, you, you trust your employees, but you never know what could be going on. Right. Um, so since I'm not there. Exactly. So here's the here's the first part of our easy labor manager. It's in three parts. First part is collect. It's how we collect those login hours. Right now your employees are just writing down on a piece of paper. We can go one of three routes. We have a swiping badge, like a credit card, okay. or a biometric clock. It's a thumbprint scanner. We also have a web-based timesheet so that those could go online when they get to work press clock in, do the same thing to clock out, right? And then the next one we have is, is a telephone entry. So you just, when they get to the site, when they clock in, they call a telephone number and enter a, um, a digit code, a personalized code, and that's how they'll clock in and out. Okay. Does that make sense to you, those three options? Yeah. Okay, good. So those are the three options there. Um, and then the next part that that does is it, it automatically um, will bring that into the run program. So that's the first part I was talking about. Okay. So when your employee clocks in, it's gonna be automatically sent to your online payroll manager where you can go online and see that. Okay. And that's it all in real time. Does that make sense? Well, let me make sure I'm getting it because it sounds like I could be sitting in Madelon and make sure all my Grand Rapids guys clocked in. Absolutely. Absolutely. That'd be awesome. Yeah, you'd be able to go on and you or can see. Or the Flint crew or whatever. Exactly, and whatever expansion that may entail. You'll be able to go on and you'll be able to see that in real time. So can you see how that would benefit you as far as you know being remaining, remaining credible and secure? Yeah. Absolutely. So I think with you having this issue, what I would suggest to you is maybe doing the biometric clocks. Okay, so that's going to be a more secure login. So we can either do the th we can do the thumbprint or we can even do a swipe card. I like th if we're going to do they cost the same those two options? They do cost the same. I so would do the thumbprint. It's not, it's pretty cool. It's it good looks cool, good technology. But then I really know it's like it's that if I'm person. I'm Danny. It's like he's here. here. Right. Right, exactly. So yeah, I think I think that's the best process that, that we would do for you. Okay. So and like I said, that integrates right into the ADP run system, um, where you can manage your payroll there, and then we can choose from that point whether you want to pay them via a paycheck, which we would send out, or you can pay them straight to a debit card, or you can do direct deposit. Mm -hmm. okay? We do direct deposit now, and they love it. Perfect. So, so we yeah. can we can keep that same that same thing that we're doing with the direct deposit and transition that okay. when we move into this ADP service. Okay. Sounds good. So really quickly here, I will run through the system just so you understand it. This is your home screen. Um, it's very simple. There's a couple buttons here that you'll mainly be using. The main one here is the run payroll. Okay. Um, that's going to bring you into this screen here. And that's where you'll be able to see all of your employees, how many hours they worked, if they worked overtime. You can even edit the vacation pay. Okay. Moving forward, we'll see here, this is what they, this is the, this is the next forward screen where we're entering in the payroll. You can edit the hours. Okay, say something, something didn't look right. Okay. Exactly. And then the next process here is, is, is the same thing if you have another service coming in. So you have to pay like a cleaning crew or something, you okay. can see that. And then last year, this is that preview screen I was telling you about. So okay. you'll be able to see exactly how many hours, how much their gross pay is, how much taxes were taken out. You, you, you preview that. And then you click approve, and it tells you simply how much you're going to be owing, how much you need in your account for the payroll process. The best part about this is that when it comes to be a deadline for a payroll period, we'll actually send you a message that will let you know how much money you need in your account. Oh, nice. So it looks like you must be filing the taxes on our behalf? Absolutely. We do all of that for you at the end of the year. I know that that can be a really big headache. Well, it's um, just nice. it would be nice to not have to do that. Exactly. Save the time right. you know, while, while we're focusing on this transition. Okay. So, you know, we are coming up to tax season here pretty soon in just a couple months. So we would allow you to focus your time on other areas there. We handle all the taxes for you. Okay. And at the end of it, if there ever was an error, we take we take full responsibility for that and we pay the whatever whatever prices need to be paid back if there was an error. So basically the risk is not on you. It's okay. On us. So that ensures that we do a good job. Okay? So with all this being said, Kelly, I think that we would make a great fit. Can you see how um, our run system would allow you to keep that accurate hour and also have those professional reports that you would provide to Flint for that transition? Um, yeah, I think so. Good. And you can also see how our run system and that easy labor manager 
would allow you to save the time as far as the sending the text messages back and forth between there and just having that one system. Can you see how that would save you the time there? Yeah. Awesome. And like I said, we, um, can you also see how we're going to remain secure and credible if we have that biometric clock? Yeah. So we're not going to we're not going to have to worry about employees clocking each other in. Right. Awesome. Well, Kelly, I think um, from this point, I'd like to move into the pricing section, if that's yeah, okay with you. Yeah, that'd be great. And it looks like I'm going to need to wrap this up in just a few minutes. Sounds good. Well, Kelly, like we said, we just have the 10 employees that are that are hourly, and that's going to be in Grand Rapids, correct? Right. All right, so we have 10 employees, and we're going to be paying these employees weekly. Is that right? That's right. So we have, it's going to be $115.80, and that's going to be um, for the month, okay? Okay. And now we're also going to have the... Um, biometric clock, which we have two locations, but only the one location is going to be um, on hourly. So right. we're only going to need the one biometric just, clock. Okay, so we just have one clock in Grand Rapids. Exactly, that and that's for the okay. hourly employees. And if we ever needed to put one in Matawan, if we have our employees, we can do that for okay. that point. And that's going to be $125 a month. So putting these together, we will have a total. $240.80, that's gonna be per month, okay? So, and then we also, what we also have is an implement, implementation cost. Okay. We have one implementation cost for the payroll services and also one for the Easy Labor Manager, which is your biometric clock. Okay. Those are gonna be 150 and 200. So, for the first month, the first month is gonna be $590.80. And that's only for the first month. That's to have those implementation costs okay. involved. And the reason that we do that, Kelly, is because we don't lock you into a contract. So for any reason you feel like something wasn't going right through this process from here on out, I would hope that you would call me first and we can talk about some we can okay. talk about the issues. But if it came down to it, you're not locked into a contract. Okay. Okay? So that's the reason that we do that. Okay. Because we don't we don't do we don't do contracts. So like I said, five ninety eighty for the first month. Bring that back if you want to look at it for the total year. We're going to be at three thousand dollars, two hundred and thirty-nine, three thousand two hundred thirty-nine dollars and sixty cents. Okay. So, like you said earlier, you didn't want it to be a crazy budget. We're not going over that ten thousand dollar mark, and I think that we've really made a great fit here. So, I'd like to move forward and make the deal happen. Um, I really like everything I've seen. I think I want to take a little bit of time and just give it some thought. To give it some thought. Okay, I can totally understand you want to take some time. Um, is there something that I didn't cover today that would maybe um, help you make that decision today? Um, there's just some aspect that makes me a little bit nervous. What exactly is it, if you don't mind me asking, that makes you a little nervous? That um, I well, it looks like you're going to have <clears throat> excuse me, access to my checking account, and we'll have all of my employees' data and stuff online. And I mean, just yesterday, again, there's a headline about, you know, malware targeted at small businesses. And right. Um, you know, there's data breaches all the time. So I, it, that does kind of make me feel a little on edge. Sure. I totally understand that. Um, you know, like when, when we talked about it, we did want to make sure that you felt secure in the system. I can guarantee you that our run system is all backed by ADP, ADP secure system. Okay, you're going to have that login information. It's going to be unique to yourself. Okay, the login information is going to be a, a username and a password. You're going to have to enter that every time you go in. Okay. okay, and our services are protected. We actually use the same security as the Pentagon. Can you believe that? Well, it makes me feel stupid now for asking. I guess <laughs> it's okay for the Pentagon. It's probably okay for a landscape. Absolutely, but, okay. and, and I and you know what, Kelly, I'm confident that our services will provide you with that value. That you're almost not going to be worrying about the security of it because you know that month to month, these services are going to be acting the way that they should. Yeah. Okay. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and make the deal happen? Well, I think I still need to take um, some time. You know, I have agreed to meet with Paychecks on Thursday, and I'm, sure. I'm going to have that meeting. So I just don't feel like I'm able to move forward. Sure, I sure I definitely respect your decision and wanting to meet with Paychecks. Um, but if I can ask you, is there something that you plan to hear from Paychecks that you haven't heard from me that would alter your decision? Um, I just feel like, out of professional courtesy, I need to meet with them since I've scheduled. I, I just want to be true to my word. Sure, I, and, and I'm, I'm a man of my words. I promised them that I wouldn't make a decision until I met with them. Sure, well, let's, let me ask you this, Kelly. If you had to make a decision today, would, the, would that decision go in my favor? Uh, I think it would. 
All right, well, with that, well, with that moving, being said, why don't we go ahead and make the deal happen today? Which you know that you're gonna, you can be confident in the selection of having EDP be your payroll service. Um, I, I appreciate where you're coming from, but I, I just don't think I can make it happen today. All right, and, and you said it's just because you, you, you want to have that meeting with paychecks? I promise paychecks. I mean, I, if I, you know, it's just this, if I tell somebody I'm going to do something, I'm going to be true to my word. And I, you know, they ask for a commitment for me not knowing that I'm meeting with you today to not make a decision until I listen to what they had to say. If you don't mind me asking, when is that meeting with paychecks? Um, 8 a.m. on Thursday. I'm giving them 20 minutes just like I gave you. Right. And you also said that you were on a time constraint there. And we, yep. we wanted to have things set by Friday, correct? Yeah. Well, if like I said, Kelly, we could, by us having, having us come in and having ADP be your solution, we can get in there in a timely manner. And I, I can guarantee you that our services will provide you with what you're looking for and that you'll be happy with your selection and you'll know that you've made the right decision. So what I'd like to say here, Kelly, is I, I totally respect your decision of having paychecks come in. I'm a man of my word as, as well. But I can guarantee you that with our services, you'll feel secure and you will know that you made the right decision by the end of it. So why don't we go ahead, why don't we see, why, why don't we set up a time where we can have an implementation specialist come in and set up a, set up a time to, to train your employees? Well, I really can't um, give you the final decision today, but I would be willing to sit down again as soon as the meeting with paychecks is over. Once right. that meeting is over, I'll be prepared to make a decision. All right, sounds good, Kelly. Well, how about we plan on setting a meeting um, after your appointment with paychecks? Let's do okay. one Thursday. How about 11:30? We could do it at nine. I'm meeting with them at eight. I'll oh, at ready. eight. Okay. I'll be ready to. They have 20 minutes. I will know my decision at 8:30. All right, yeah. sounds good. Well, I, I appreciate you taking the time there. Um, I think you made a good decision of having us come in. Um, and like I said, I do appreciate that time. I will meet with you um, and on Thursday at or on Friday, excuse me. Thursday, at, Thursday, Thursday, right? But Thursday at nine. Thursday at then nine. Because then we don't. You're not in the hallway. Okay. Together. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Thursday at nine. Once again, Kelly, I do thank you for your time here today, and I look forward to uh, starting a new relationship and welcoming you to the ADP family. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, thanks Kelly. Thanks, Colin. Nice to meet you. Absolutely.